Hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll look at how we can increase the disk size of our Kali Linux machine that's running on our VirtualBox now I'm already logged into the Kali Linux machine what I'm gonna do is let's look at the size the disk size uh, there's a few ways we can check that I can open the terminal and uh, let me run lsblk to list block devices and we see we only have one disk SDA with three partitions and the total disk size is 30 GB right here. We can see that most of it is on SD1 partition, which is the root folder. Now, another command we can use is df-h and it also tells us what's being used and what's available right here. Okay, the other tool available to us is a gparted. So let me open it. Um, let me let me put in my password. This is a graphical tool, and this is it right here. It also shows you the partitions you have. You can see we have three, one, two, three. If we add any unallocated space, it will also be listed here. So in order for us to increase the disk space, we need to sh shut off or power off the machine and make a few, make a change on the settings of the virtual machine. So I'll close this out and then I'm gonna power off. Now this is the virtual machine right here, Kali Linux 2023. If I right click on it and go to settings and if I go to storage, you'll see that I have under, SAT, uh, under controller SATA, I have this VDI file. We'll need to detach it. So click on it, right click and remove attachment. And now nothing is listed. You can click OK. Go to File. So the next thing is to go to File, go to Tools, and then select Virtual Media Manager right here. And at this point, you want to look at that VDI for the machine you just that we just detached for Kali Linux. And this is it right here, Kali Linux 20 Kali Linux 2023 VDI. Select it. And down here, you can scroll to the right to increase the disk size, or you can just increase it here. By typing it in, I'm gonna type in, I'm gonna increase it by two. I'm gonna go with uh, 32. So 32, click apply. The new size should show here. Virtual size is now 32. It increased from 30. Now let's go back to the settings for this virtual machine. Click on it, right click settings. And we'll need to reattach that VDI. So go to storage, SAT, uh, controller SATA. Down here, click on this icon and then click hard disk. Then you wanna select the VDI file. So it's gonna be Linux 2023, select it. And click down here, choose. Now it's attached again, click okay. And now I'm gonna power on this machine. I'm just gonna click start. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and log back in. I'm gonna put in my password here. And let's open the terminal again. Let's go ahead and uh, check the disk size again. Let's do LSP, okay. Let's run the commands we ran earlier. Now you see that the size has increased, but if you look at the uh, partition, the three partitions haven't changed. This one is still 29. So whatever we added is, actually not being used. Let's do uh, df-h. So we are still getting the same information. The use is 16, available is 12, so 29. Even though we added the two, it's um, not being used right now. Now let's go ahead and uh, open gparted. I'll put in our password. Okay, let me minimize this one. If you look in here, you'll see that there's this one here that got added. And if you click on it, it says it's unallocated. So we can click. So we have two GB that's uh, unallocated. I'm gonna close this. Now, in order for us to use it, we'll need to extend our existing partition to use this uh, available space. What we need to do is create a new partition. So right click on it, click on new. This is the size. And uh, we're not gonna change anything. We'll click on add. 
and there should be a new partition for us here. So this is the new partition number one, and this is the size. And this the file system type is the same as this partition SDA1. Now before we can extend SD1, we'll need to swap turn the swap off. So just select Linux swap and click swap off. And those that icon that was here is gone. Okay, now that we have the swap off, we'll select the new partition. We'll click on we'll right click on it and click resize or move. And then free space preceding, we want to put this entire amount. Actually, let's go with the 1024. So this is the space we want to add to this boot drive. So once you've entered the that amount, just press enter. And now you can see we have this space that was created. Click on resize and move. And the shift, shift is split it into two. And now we have one GIB that's unallocated. Now we'll need to shift it up again. Okay, now the next thing we need to do, we need to go to extended, select it, and click resize and move. And as you can see, there is a free space following, which is this unallocated space right here. What we want to do is we want to select this. We want to move this until free space following is zero right here. We'll click resize and move. Okay, the next thing we'll do, we'll go to Linux swap, right click it, resize and move. And it's, it's got some free space following. So I'll move this until there's no free space following. So it, this its size has increased. Click resize and move. Uh, the swap space size has increased, as you can see. What I'll do is I'll go back into this Linux swap again, resize and move. And I want to create free space preceding. This is the one I'm going to extend to this boot drive. So I'm going to use the 1024. The OK, press OK. Now we have an allocated space that was moved. OK, now this space is just underneath extended. We need to move it one, one level up. We need it to be here. So we'll go to extended, resize and move. And we'll put in the same amount that we put. That's going to be the free space presiding. So we do 1024 again, press Enter then do resize and move we've moved this space from here all the way to here now if we go to sda1 for the boot drive and do resize and move there is a space right here for us and that is free space following and if you look up here now we can extend this you can extend it and now we have zero click on resize and now we've increased the space here for our root folder or for SDA one drive. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to click on this check mark to apply the changes. And as you can see here we get a message all operations successfully completed. Details of what was done. You can close this. As you can see we've increased the space here and that's pretty much it. That's how you can move that free and allocated space from here and then extend your boot drive. Uh, if you want it, you can go back to this and do s just go to Linux swap, right click, swap on, and that should be it. And if you go to UDF dash edge, now we have 30 GB, 16 and used, 16 GBs are used, and now we have 13 GB available. Uh, let's be okay. The new size is 32 GB. And it did create a small partition here. Our main goal was to increase the disk size, and we managed to do that. So that's all for this video. I know that's that's kind of a long video. There's a multiple steps involved. You just have to pay attention to those steps as far as moving that free space over to the boot drive in order to extend it. So I hope this has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.